All right, everybody. I just can't get it out of my system. I wanted to do some Academy stuff and some other things, but I just, I, I can't stop myself. I got to do an LV1 run. Okay, so this is the same save file that we just did the 1858 run on. Like, literally the exact same save file. I saved it outside of Iron Man, um, right there. It has this little thing because it was on the 1.0.4 patch, which, as we all know, now there's the thing with infrastructure being different. That's probably, I should probably just re-roll this so that the infrastructure is, is updated, but I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. We're doing LV1 here today. So I'm I'm not going to worry about waiting necessarily to get our technology online. I'm going to go ahead and do mandatory service. Our technology for our, or our laws for our uh, army are going to become national militia because we're using our pacifists. I'm not doing colonists because I don't think it's reliable. Way too many times I've seen Russia just get both of them, even when you rush colonization. Because if you rush colonization, sure, yeah, you can get colonization, the technology done in 21 months. But I want you to pay close attention. So we're going to research one technology first, right? It's either going to be mandatory service or it's probably going to be colonization in most guides. Colonization first is going to finish at the same time, and then you're going to be rolling to actually implement the law, right? Because you don't actually get the law immediately. And unfortunately, even with even with a, a shogunate character that supports it, you're not guaranteed to hit it on the first roll, and I have actually seen it fail two rolls. It's very possible. And when it fails two rolls, then you end up taking something that's going to cost you 300 bureaucracy, which for those of you who understand how the characters interact with stuff, um, 300 bureaucracy is a lot of potential political power that you have to sacrifice, because, uh, you I mean, you're going to need it. There's a reason that I'm actually not even recommending doing National Guard e anymore, even though it is very strong. I think National Guard's very, very strong, but I don't think it's stronger than just ignoring everything um, and pursuing what we're doing here today. I just want to do this for science. It may not even be right, but I, I feel compelled to do to do this after, after what I saw in the last one. So we are going to begin the LV-1 strat by bringing in Intelligentsia instead of Samurai. That's going to open up the ability for us to go over here and work on our distribution of power. Why, am we, why are we doing LV-1? So LV-1 is going to make it so that we have a base legitimacy that's way higher. We don't need the Shogunate characters in power anymore when we have a landed voting system in place because we've, we've incorporated a way for the Daimyo to interact with the, po the political process. So they don't need necessarily, as an assurance to themselves in their interaction with the government, they don't need to be here for us to have some amount of legitimacy. And the more legitimacy that we have, the faster we can get laws done. And we've got a lot of laws that we need to get done. Just tons of them. Tons of them. And of course, because we're going for mandatory service, we have 23 months where we wouldn't be working on a law if we're not working on something. So although this landed voting is going to only start with 9% here on the intelligentsia, that's okay. I'm not worried about it because we have an insanely high legitimacy. Look at this. We're working with the shogunate. We're working with the daimyo to break down the power of the shogun himself and make it so that we ha there's a democratic process in place. The democratic process that's, that we're pushing for is going to strongly, strongly favor these guys, but it, that's okay. That's fine. I don't mind strongly favoring um, those guys for a brief period of time. Um, remember that in, in here at Vicky 3 there's a lot of things that are like what doing what you can within the time frame that you are living. Um, and I think that this one, this one's correct, I think. You gotta yeah, just work with the work with the other factions in an in, in a very it's basically it's a duel, right? It's the reason that I love these runs over and over again is that I, every single time I feel like I'm in, I'm in a like a kill bill duel with a with a shogunate, and there's gonna be a lot of push and pull and a lot of like fun things going on. I I love it. I love it. I just love it. I love it. All right. If if you if you want, you can listen along. I'm listening to the. Um, don't let me be misunderstood from Kill Bill. All right, so we're building a five stack of construction sectors here and a five stack of logging camps. I'm not super worried about getting access to tons of wood, but the fact of the matter is that the more that I've been doing this, the more that I've come to appreciate that I actually want to just get iron online really fast rather than maxing out on like 
a bunch of construction sectors that then make it impossibly expensive to switch into iron. I'm just going to keep it kind of thin. I'm going to do 5-5. Five, five. Um, and then I think just for money's sake, because I do like keeping I do like keeping our cash on. I'm actually going to do 5-9 here. And then I'm going to pop over here and I'll do 5 and then probably 5. And I'm just planning out a couple of builds here because I know the order in which some of these things are going to occur. And by building them out in an order that like I, I know how to switch things around, it'll let me talk a little bit more about what we're doing um, once I can unpause on two. I'm just I'm just tidying up here, really. Um, so what we can always do is you can always check here and see if there's a, uh, a character from a faction that you want to work with. Also, go ahead and set up your outliner. That's always useful. It's always useful, Walker. I don't care about losing that. That's okay. Cotton gin is fine. None of these, those technologies are all pretty bad. Academia is good. Academia is good because we are going to need it. We are going to want, because we're doing an LV rush, we're going to want to get af immediately after mandatory service. We're going to want to pop back over here and do academia empiricism because we need to get the constitutional reform party online or this is going to be a big headache for us. If we can get the constitutional reform party online, then this is going to be awesome. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do cool stuff. Tax capacity doesn't matter when you have a bunch of peasants. It does not matter. Just ignore that. Right click it. It's gone. Oh, we didn't even set up our tax bill yet. Walker. All right. Pause. We're doing services and sin. So you have a lot of options when it comes to the way that you build a tax bill. My recommendation is make sure that it's bringing in money, but also make sure that it's targeted. I I'm a big fan of you utilizing this stuff to just. Uh, we're also gonna start bolstering the Buddhist monks. Um, just use, just use this to A, keep your balance high so you can keep building, and B, take money away from the pops who are your enemies. The more you take money away from your enemies, the better you'll feel, I promise. You will feel, oh, you'll feel incredible. The power, the power. We're gonna also begin improving this. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna do this, we're gonna go there, we're gonna wait for that. I'm gonna kick it up to four, and we're off. We are off chat. Oh, we are out into the night. I I never imagined in my wildest dreams uh, a week ago that I would be filming a video of, of LV1, but here I am and I am ecstatic. This this is this might not work. We very well, and I want to make sure everyone understands that when you roll on things that are 8% like this, you're not aiming to hit it on the 8%. Right now, what we're doing is we're rolling to add advance or debate to it. Because some of those, because we're rolling so frequently, and again, we have 21 months before we can even enact national militia, which is definitely the right way to go, especially if you're doing landed voting. Like, if you're not doing landed voting and you're remaining in autocracy, then it could, be, it could make sense to go into professional army. But, like, it's just... It's horrible if you go into landed voting and you have professional army and you don't fire your 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 entire army because then your samurai they're powerful they'll band together with the shogunate because they care about things like serfdom together and then you have to deal with the fact that they're gonna get a gazillion votes like it's just it's not good don't do it don't don't do it if you're doing if you're doing landed voting you almost certainly need to go into national militia because then you can fire your fire your entire army but also be able to. Uh, to still conscript a massive, a massive army to, to defeat anyone who's going to try to fight you. So I'm just going to see how this one goes. I, I don't know. I, there's still going to be a lot of RNG in this. There really is. It's like any other um, speed run or campaign or anything. Like I could easily hit this on the first roll or I could easily not, right? I could, I could easily have this spin four or five times the way it did in the other one. But the way it did in the other one, I was I didn't set myself up for success if it did. And right now, I feel like I'm doing that. I feel like that by by utilizing the resources that we the way that we've got them. Um, I think we're just doing I think we're Jeezy Pete's. Am I just gonna push some of these construct yeah. I'm gonna push some uh, construction sectors because we just have so much that we can do. We can do this. Uh, we can do this. We can do this. I'm okay doing that. If we if we were bringing in less money, then I wouldn't have bothered. But I think I'm gonna actually. Let's see. Let's see. I like I like to make sure that that I'm not like drowning in money, because um, especially if you're doing high tax or high taxation, 
Why am I running high taxation? Because in this case, I don't care about my legitimacy. It's going to be really high kind of no matter what, because I have a giant clout shogunate who is not opposed to the thing that I'm doing. So they're kind of shrugging and just saying, sure, yeah, we'll go along with it. We won't actively commit any resources to this idea, but we won't oppose it either. Um, and then as soon as these construction sectors are done, that'll help build our, our logging camps faster over here. And it doesn't really cost us anything. So how you manage your debt is really complicated. I recommend, just as a blanket statement for people who are not familiar with the way debt operates, just try to restrain yourself when it, when it comes to acquiring debt while your economy is still reliant on level one or level two methods of production. Once you get around to level two, then you can start going a little crazier because then you start incorporating just better pop types. Fared poorly, decreasing enactment success by 10. Yeah, it happens. That happens. So if, if we fail on, on landed voting, by the way, then we'll just, it'll be fine. What we'll end up doing in that case, if we hit the mandatory service before we complete this, um, we would probably, oh, that's all right, we're working on in 205 days. If that is what happens, we'll probably just drop it and then bounce over to work on national militia because national militia is going to make everybody pretty happy. Most people are going to be pretty thrilled with that, and it's going to make the shogunate weaker. If that if that is what happens, then we'll probably bounce over to hereditary bureaucrats and do appointed bureaucrats instead. Um, I would I would have liked to have hit the landed voting, but we got the literal worst outcome, and and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get a much better outcome, and that's one of these things where like it you just play the game that you're playing. I'm I I hope that the people who actually understand the way that this game is played. Or the people who want to understand the way the game that this is played, the way this game is played. I'm not not trying to deceive you or make excuses. I'm trying to educate you so that you can have reasonable expectations for your own runs, so that way you can become emotionally unattached from outcomes where it, they were, you know, probabilistic. Because if you do the thing that is your highest percent chance and you lose, then that's still okay, as long as it was your best, or as long as you had a a good reason to suspect it was your best. I, I don't care about any of this stuff. Like, most of those numbers are completely meaningless and they can just go away. They're just giving me pop-ups that I'm not going to read. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the other side of Walker that bleeds through. <laughs> it's just like contemptuously, insanely lazy Walker. Um, yeah, so we're just, we're just out here just working on wood. I like working on some wood. No matter, it, no matter how much construction sector stuff you're building before you before you really go for it, I strongly recommend. And we are gonna watch him, by the way. So this is gonna be one of these things where I'm not gonna be trying to reroll on landed voting because I just like, I really cannot be bothered. Um, so this is a modifier against the standard of living for the Han. However, Japan starts as basically a monoculture, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, it's, I, I, I wish that I sounded like less of a, a psychopath there but it's it is true you just don't need to worry about that that is not your problem um yeah when those when those are done then we'll move the road maintenance back over to here then we'll get back to work so when it comes to how you develop your economy my recommendation the reason why I, i'm pushing for so much uh, logging camps is because we've massively expanded the size of our construction and in order for that to make any sense at all from a, an economic perspective you need to make sure that your your costs are relatively balanced on the things that your government purchases um positive outcome see so so we'll bounce back and forth if we don't get it on the next roll because that's going to be 197 days whatever we, we will wait for that to to happen but if it doesn't happen we even can come back and do it ourselves because the thing is that like the samurai here they're the ones who are adding stall chance to this if we if we had national militia and we could actually marginalize the samurai then they couldn't be adding stall chance here and so that's why i like i think the natural pairage pairing of national militia um plus landed voting is gonna be very strong i just don't know if it's stronger than appointed bureaucrats first because that's absolutely ridiculously good because it just lets you switch into professional bureaucrats and then you just don't have all like a thousand stupid aristocrats rolling, running all over your country they all they'll they're done you're done you can't do any of this get out of here you, you, you none, none of that absolutely none of that but yeah national militia landed voting they're a natural they're a natural pair i absolutely natural pair and i think that the more people play around with it to experiment how a pacifist national militia uh, play feels like i think people will come to realize that it's going to be generally stronger 
than um, going for Jingoist and colonization. In this case, maybe it would have been better to go for Jingoist and colonization, but it, it, I have seen that that loop just implode so many times. Post in chat if you have tried to run that um, that strategy and have it just just explode in your face. Oh my god, we can we can recruit we can recruit dudes. I forgot that we can recruit dudes. Right. So this is another aspect of the game that's going to be really important if you're interested in speedrunning. But I think also, it this is very this is core gameplay actually. That I don't I don't know if we should be promote be able to promote it this many times or whatever. But I think it's not a I think this is a feature and not a bug that these characters are going to impact the political power of the parties that they are associated with because of course they would. Kind of right like of course they would. That makes sense. Um, I am going to retire him, not necessarily because I find him offensive, but I want to be ticking down on this commander retirement penalty. I probably should have fired him on game start. I apologize. I, I want to show you good gameplay, but I want to also emphasize that <laughs> this is a complicated game. There's a lot of things you can make mistakes on, and I, I do make them. I do make them. <laughs> I don't think that's a moral failure of anyone if you... Uh, if you, if you fail some of these critical gate junctures of good gameplay, there's going to be someone who is going to watch this footage and is going to say, oh, yeah, you know, if I if I were just implementing this strategy and got a little lucky and like was playing the game instead of that idiot, then this would be great. Because I think it is. I think this is a great strategy. I think LV1 into National Militia is just a masterpiece. Um, and I think I think I think I might if I'm going to post this kind of no matter what. Um, just because I want to share it with you, even if it doesn't work, even if it doesn't work, I don't care. Um, because I, I just want to share it with you. Yeah, all right, so we, we're not going to get LV on this, at least not on this run, but that's okay. You, you don't get it often when you're doing it this way. You do get it, but you don't get it often. Um, because it starts at an 8% chance, and then you might get a plus 10%, and then you might get a plus 10%, right? That's, that's, you're not going to hit it more than... Uh, and that's and that's a broad outcome in terms of advancements. Like, you, you probably only hit it 10 to 20% of the time. But it's worth trying, right? It cost me absolutely nothing to do that. And now, and now I can do National Militia. Bam. And now National Militia is still going to be powered through. Um, but instead of working with the Intelligentsia now, I can get even more legitimacy by going this route, which will let me just chew through National Militia. Right. Remember that in this thing, as in all other things, that all alli alliances are temporary. Right. This is a political battle that we are in control of the uh, in control uh, f for for control of the shogunate with uh, the Tokugawa uh, character here, Ianari. And we're just a bunch of characters who hate him and are trying to make sure that he come he is removed from power. Right now, the Emperor Kome is apparently six years old because he was born in 1831. So it makes perfect logical sense that a bunch of powerful landowners and characters who hate the, the Shogun would want to remove him from power so they could become the regent themselves. Right? I think I think everything that we are doing here, at least in my opinion, I think it all makes sense. I think it all makes sense. Um, we, could, we could downsize the military a little bit right now just to let them start, like, bleeding off their anger. Because we are going to start, um, we are, we are going to fire most of the military whenever we do National Militia. Like, we just, you just don't need it. It just gets in the way. Uh, yeah, I knew. Sorry. Oh, God. Walker, did you forget to move the, this is what I'm talking about, chat. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I forgot to move the, the thing. I forgot to move the thing. I always forget to move the thing. 100% of the time. Post in the chat if you saw me forget to move road ma Talk about forgetting to move road maintenance. That's the that's the fun, the really fun part for me is that I get to talk about forgetting to, to move road maintenance. Forget to move road maintenance. And then, and then recognize a little bit later that I forgot to move road maintenance. It's every time. Every time, Walker. Every time. That's okay. We're doing we're doing totally fine on everything here. We could even if we wanted to get the national militia done even faster, we could go down to this. I wouldn't hate doing that. It doesn't really do tons for us because the thing is we could. All right. Well, if we did, we could switch into appointed bureaucrats. At which point we would have intelligentsia and shogunate. And nah, I want to switch to landed voting first. 
so after we're done with national militia, we'll, we'll switch back and do landed voting. And then we can remove the shogunate from power and switch into appointed bureaucrats. And then once we pass appointed bureaucrats, I, I, it's going to be extremely difficult for the shogunate to come up with a plan to get power back at that point. Um, it is currently 1838. Come on, baby. Nope. That's okay. We got, we got this. So we could get a little bit of extra bonus to uh, the peasants, but it would be about attracting pop, like pops there, and they don't really drain from anyone that I care about. So we'll we'll just take the enactment success chance because I want to just get it done, right? I want to just get that on that law on the books, and that's where your taxes, like this taxation level, I think that's really how I personally would recommend people think about it: is that you want to run high taxation whenever you're not working on an important law or whenever you're you're uh, legitimacy doesn't matter that much. Like, that does. How many? How many extra days does that save us? Does it save us absolutely nothing? Did I just show something off that means nothing at this at this legitimacy level? So that's twenty eight. Uh, that's twenty eight. All right, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter at this. But for people who don't have high legitimacy, it's pretty important. Um, right, because we're at 100 legitimacy. We are at 100 legitimacy because of the Buddhist monks. Oshio, this dude's a, an absolute goddamn powerhouse. Um, all right, so in order to do empiricism and have it not blow up on me, we do have to take a very brief break, and we have to build a university, because you can't... Um, we can insert it here, actually, because it's 55 weeks, and that's 23. I'm only going to do a level 2 university in Kansai. I'm going to do a level 2 a university because I've tried other sizes, and I just find that, like, the, the economic penalty of a level 3 is is higher than the benefit. I, I think that you can push to a level 3 if you want to, and if you find that you have success with that strategy, I applaud you for your efforts. Um, this is going to need to be used here to increase the demand, which we've also talked about, Walker. Just every time. <laughs> just every time. He's not paying any attention. I'm just trying to do a speed run. That's the other thing. I'm just trying to get... I'm trying to see if I can get this down to an hour and a half. That's what I'm really trying to do. Because I think I might be able to. I think I might be able to. All right. So we got iron mines. So iron mines are up. Um, pig iron means that this is going to... This is going to start a construction here where this guy is trying to hire more. Um, input good shortages are fine. National militia is done. All right. So now we are going to need to switch back over to landed voting, which is going to require um, that we reorganize the government again. And let's see what happens when we have the original pair back. We go to this. And now we can go back into landed voting. Um, intelligentsia is going to be the main, the main force here. We could even, we could even do it. We could do it. Yeah, let's just go for it. So what we're going to do, uh, no, nah, the legitimacy is too bad. Because this is, this is just not, they're not going to oppose it. They're not going to oppose it. So we'll stay with this. Intelligentsia will, intelligentsia will get us there. Um, but now, now it definitely makes sense to, to go to lower taxes because our, our legitimacy is only 78%. So we really need to, to make sure that, um, that we're giving these guys as much money that, as they need. We might even go to low. Um, yeah, all right. I, this is fine. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, Intelligentsia has died. What, who is he now? He's an abolitionist. Okay, that's fine. I, I welcome abolitionists in, in government. Let's see if we can change any any generals or whatever around. Nope. Um, not interested in doing that. And we are working on empiricism. It's good. We've got the universities. That's good. So what am I working on right now beyond the university? I think I probably want to add one level of paper mill here. Because the thing is that universities are going to increase the demand. I, I just love universities. That's, that's why I'm addicted to universities, chat. You, someone, someone say somebody stop him. He's addicted to universities because he's going to add a level three again. This madman, he's going to ruin our, our economy for nothing. But I am. I'm going to do it. You can't stop me. 
if you want to stop me, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to the this from my cold dead fingers chat. Somebody somebody defeat me. Uh oh right, we got a bunch of we got a bunch of tools now. All right, so we've completed the first the first big industrialization process, which is getting a whole bunch of tools. Just a whole bunch of tools is like a great thing because it lets you just like add tools to stuff. And that just increases the, all the economic productivity in your country. It's not even necessarily, oh, Walker, also, like, Jesus Christ. I want everybody to, like, watch these videos and talk to each other about how horrible I am at this game. Because look at this. I didn't, you can add glass to Kansai on turn zero. And I'm not even doing it until 1839. Unsubscribe. Like, just, just, just delete this video. Unsubscribe. <laughs> And just and just that, that and then go about your day. That's that's how you should interact with this video. Now that you're um, 25 minutes in, I want you to unsubscribe, delete this video, and leave. <laughs> that's so stupid, Walker. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna remember this time. Look at this chat. You guys are gonna go crazy. I'm mo I'm moving the road maintenance because I'm I'm good at the game now. Uh, Jesus Christ. I uh, just like I don't know. <laughs> it's a complicated game. Don't be ashamed to admit that you made a mistake. It's an incredibly complicated game. I'm gonna start feeding textile mills in. So textile mills, every, there are a couple of. So everyone asks about like what's the point of of a uh, grocery industry. I'm gonna ask the question now, and if you know chat, post below. Landed voting. Why why are you like this? <laughs> every time you get this 10 percent chance the people watching are gonna anyone who who's like a big fan of vicky3 content is probably like screaming in the background right now because here i am rolling on landed voting yet again over and over and over again uh, with the full knowledge that like without a stall chance because there isn't one this should not be happening but i i'm not complaining i'm just saying that like is it possible that I intentionally that I actually do world record attempts like over and over again and only show you the ones that fail to tempt you to make it yourself? Would Walker do that? Is he that insane? Is it possible that he is that mad? No, probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm listening to the Stranger Things soundtrack again, and it just, it really gets me jazzed up. If you have not listened to, if you haven't seen that show, I don't know how to help you. Like, I, I want to be your friend, and I want to communicate with you, but if you haven't seen that show, I don't know what's wrong with you, Skylar. Like, what is, what is wrong with you? How have you not finished it yet? How has it not, like, if you enjoyed the dream, Skylar, this is a personal message from me to one of my very good friends in real life who was supposed to be my editor and then we just started filming this and we're like, I don't know, this is insane and just make humans interact with it. Um, so we could, we if we want, if we're like, if we had gotten landed voting here, and this is something that you can do also, if you get landed voting super early because you get lo uh, lucky, this is why I like this line, by the way, for the extreme, like, insanely, insanely high IQ players out there. The reason I like this so much is because if you get a really early landed voting thing and you're going to get blown out in an election unless you have that constitutional reform party, you can click empiricism. Boom, right? Whoa, holy crap, you can click empiricism. And then if you need to just get it done because you've gotten a snap election, you're there, baby. You are there. You can guarantee have it for an election in 1840. So it's just really strong to go this route um, because it, it, it's, it's resistant uh, to downside while simultaneously being having an incredible upside, like just an incredible upside. You would not believe the power that you get if you get a couple of good landed vo voting rolls. <laughs> he says, and then Mouse is over and it's like zero. Um, <laughs> you can't, you can't do this, Walker. You can show, nah, nah. You, I'm not taking, I'm going to do one shot of this a day. And if it goes well, it does well. And then if it if it goes poorly, it'll do poorly, except for the people who want to learn from it. And that's okay. That That is, because eventually one of them I will get good luck on and I'll post that one and people will enjoy it. And, and, and the people who like really enjoy it, they'll enjoy all of them. But the people who like sort of enjoy it, they'll enjoy the good ones. The people who enjoy like, you know, Walker just talking to himself, hopefully, hopefully they feel like very comfortable just wandering around here in the Library of Madness um, that we've created here at We Play Games. The, the theming really is 
I, I, I go back and forth on the on the theming, but I think this really is the the theming. It's it's Wan Shi Tong's library from from Avatar. I'm a giant bird. These are all of my books. You can look around them, and I will do my best to try to figure out that they will at least be useful to you humans. Um, and but but like don't touch them. <laughs> goddamn lunatic! <laughs> Absolutely goddamn lunatic. Don't ever listen to Walker. That's the other. That's the other thing that I want to tell you, Chat. Don't just don't ever listen to him. Look, look, Chat. Jesus Christ! Like, we. How long ago did we pass National Militia? <laughs> I'm just I'm awful at this game. I'm just terrible at it. Um, yeah. I. It, you know, that's the other thing is that you can manipulate your RNG to look worse if you just play dumb. That's the other thing that I want to tell you. If you want to look like you're an idiot, just play dumb, and then and then and then your roles will be weighted to be worse because you're stupid. Um, paper mills. I don't know. I could do another paper mill. So again, I really only care about the things that are my problem. Things like this. Those are my pops' problems. I built that because textile mills print money. That's why I built that. I don't care about the humans that it serves. I care about the money that it gives me, the power that it gives me. Um, but I think I think we're moving over to Kyushu now. I think it's time. So some of you who have watched this stuff will probably understand why this is so useful. But coal mines are, are beautiful things. Coal mines are beautiful things. Because they're going to let me run... Um, like that little coal fiery thing everywhere and that's going to add a whole bunch of services and when you write your tax bill you have to keep in mind that the things that you're going to be taxing if you build more of them you get more of it right that makes sense doesn't it you get more money by building the things that you're taxing I love I love the soundtrack for Stranger Things and I love this video game. I hope that I hope that everyone understands that that is the way. That is the way. I don't know about samurai. I really don't know. I really don't know about samurai. I guess here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to roll some stuff and just see what we get. A bunch of stupid shogunate characters. Get the hell out of get the hell out of here. I'm not rolling anymore while they're at 38%. Um because that is going to have a a pretty strong influence on what's going on here. Um, God, landed voting. You're going to make me look like an idiot again, landed voting. Every time you're going to make me look like an idiot. And every time you're going to make me look like an idiot, there's going to be someone who's going to do it. And it's going to show a screenshot from like, look, I did it three years, three years faster than you, Walker. And I will, I will be thrilled that, that another person has done it. Cause, cause I do, I do genuinely try, but I'm not re-rolling this roll over and over again. Cause I think that's bad content. It's like I'm even and I'm ref, and I refuse to edit it. Absolutely refuse. I could I could do that, but I'm not going to. I love playing this game way too much to ruin it with uh, with that. Uh. <laughs> just, Walker, you are just an entirely unmarketable human being, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I that's by design. That is by design. I like it. I like it. I like what we're doing here. I like the way that we're doing this. I'm not going to I'm not going to post links in Reddit anymore. I'm just going to talk to people and then if people are like particularly interested in what I'm saying, they'll probably click on my All right, Shogun's will be done. Yes. All right. So now we're on track to maybe get it in May 1841. I wouldn't hate that. Um yeah, it would be really great actually. May 1841 would be a banger. Um cuz then we would probably it would we would not immediately bring the shogun down but we would probably be able to get a 53 or a 54 which i'd be a lot happier with a 53 or a 54 that that would still require a little bit of luck i want to make sure that people are aware of that because after we go into all landed voting we're going to immediately switch over to what we had for that brief period we're gonna have buddhist monks and intelligentsia especially so so long as oshio remains alive oshio is bay show me oshio is bay in the chat um, yeah, I it's just, I, I'm so sorry, Micronesians. This is like, honestly, I, I can't help you. There aren't enough of you for the government to care. Um, and unfortunately that is kind of the way that things worked in this time frame. too. Makes me sound like a crazy person, but sometimes you have to, sometimes you have to swim against the tide of history in Victoria three. And sometimes you have to swim, swim with it. And I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to build a little bit of glass here. I like glass because glass also is a very highly productive um, resource. 
it's also already located in Kyushu. So of course you got to keep in mind, we, well, we could reduce this opposition interest group approval. I don't care right now. There's no, what opposition? <laughs> so what opposition? <laughs> whatever. This is it's whatever, man. This is a great game. This is a great goddamn game. I don't know. The people who are getting into fights over whether or not warfare should be changed bore the crap out of me. I'm having a ton of fun, and as long as I'm still having a ton of fun in a year and a half, I'm gonna have I'm I'm gonna love the fact that they did all this stuff here. But all right, so 1841, and now they're colonizing on Sakhalin. So we, if you rushed on colonization here, you would have gotten rewarded for it in the sense that you would have been able to actually get there. But I don't even know if that's like good. I, I don't know if that's even good. I, I have no idea, because I think that the the fact of the matter is I've done this um, past, like, restoration a little bit, um, and I did it all the way through... Excuse me, I just need to turn volume down a little. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, we're, we're on speed five, just going around building. I think we might be able to still to do a 54. If, if I'm lucky, then we can hit a 55. Or oh, 54, rather. I, I, think, I think we're on track for probably for 55. If I can get lucky, 54. That's where I believe we are right now. Um, but we are going to have to dramatically restructure things after we get landed voting through. Come on, buddy. Please, for the love of God, just once in your life. Once on stream for me. <laughs> I love you, LV1, but you have to work. You have to work. Uh, I don't know. I might, I might also consider doing, um, like, just take a, a, a run where it looks really strong, where, like, LV1 succeeds, and turn it into, like, a narrative campaign. Because I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with the, the comedy campaign that I'm doing, Manifesto Destiny. Um, but, and I'm going to have so much fun with the Paul Mahonic horror campaign. I'm going to re-record the audio, because um, I, I just... I, I hadn't written a, a short story in so long. Um, and it was just, it was a, an incredibly cathartic experience for me to, to write again. Um, and so I just, I want to use it. Um, it. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'll, I might put links in the description or in the, the comments. I'll stop talking about it. I want to talk about this. So, so we can continue to increase glassworks if we want. Glassworks are pretty useful because we're going to be using them in our, um, our urban centers. And so they are going to be something that is our problem rather than our, pop, our pops problem, which is like my general, my general thing when it comes to this, uh, this stuff, again, to, to repeat it. Because apparently most people don't watch like entire videos. I don't know. Humans do things that confound me. Just, just absolutely confound me. I do not understand your species. Um, like, not even a little bit. It doesn't mean that I don't like you, but it just means that I really... I, you The things that you guys say and do just baffle my mind. Um, are we on full coal now? Can we be on full coal now? We could be on full coal now. So, by being on full coal, we are going to dramatically increase the demand for that, but that's okay. We how much how much glass is this? Sixty two. So I'm going to wait until those glass are until the glass is done, and then I can switch it over. The reason that that's important, chat for people who don't understand, is the way the pricing works. Ah, oh, cr criminy. All right, yeah, I gotta I gotta rush a tooling workshop because I did not balance things well. Don't don't again don't. Don't play like Walker. Play better than Walker. It's really not that hard to play better than Walker. To play better than Walker, all you really have to do is pay attention. He's extremely bad at that. It is, it is like, it is everywhere in there. It's everywhere in there. He just doesn't pay any attention because he just, he has too many things going on. Too many things going on. But you know what? That's, uh, that's true. That is true. Come on, baby. Please, 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 please. Once this is, yes! Ah! I want to, I want to see people screaming in chat. All right, so we did it. We got landed voting. That does dramatically reduce our authority, so I have to pause here. We're also going to reorganize the, the government entirely, um, so I'm going to do that anyway. So what we're going to want to make sure that we are doing is that we are suppressing the shogunate, and so I'm going to need to make sure that uh, everything that I do makes sense from the perspective of the, the shogunate battle that we're, that we're going to enjoy right here. So we have luxury clothes and porcelain. 
both of those are goods that are luxury goods and you can see like kind of who's who's going to be consuming them um here and that's going to tell you that when these things are being taxed those are the people who are going to be hurt by that tax right and you want to make sure that your taxes maximize the pain of your of your enemies um, but in this case, it's literally the same thing. It, it really does not matter. Choose one of them in this case. But if one of them was making more money because you built things in a different order or whatever, then do that, right? Like, just, just do that instead. It's okay. All right, so we got that part done. And now we need to go in and we need to do appointed bureaucrats. So what we're going to do is I'm going to remove um, all the boosting stuff. We're going to suppress the shogunate. And we're going to bolster here. And then we're going to go in here. And I'm going to go ahead and just start appointed bureaucrats. And this is going to make it so that the shogunate is going to have a stall chance that they're going to impose on this. And that's why it's it's not like a freebie. It, it is absolutely not a freebie. And the people who think it's a freebie are crazy. Um, but this might even be a way for us to get extra authority on appointed bureaucrats, to be honest. Does anybody else, who else cares about appointed bureaucrats? Wants to join the Constitutional Reform Party, you say? All right, I could do that. That would be that would be pretty dope. That would be pretty dope. Look at that. Got a constitutional reform party going. Get get yourself get yourself a, a, a stew and throw it in a pot, and then and then you got yourself a constitutional reform party going. That's that's a reference to Arrested Development. Um, here we are. So this I I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about things as they show up in game that are important, but. The Opium War and the outcome of the Opium War is enormously important for the direction of your game, just as enormously important as it was in, like, real life, right? It was it was critically important that, that, that it occurred because um, it really dramatically shifted stuff around. The The collapse of, of Chinese control here was a big deal that, I mean, just look, 360 million, right? We, it's very difficult to use uh, global data for development that occurred in the world in the 19th century, and it's mostly just because of how bad things were in China. It is the century of humiliation. They're going to basically stumble from brutal civil war to brutal civil war as the the Manchu dynasty here, the Qing Man Manchu, just hold hold on for dear life against the forces of history. They also just get like really bad luck, like the, the river changes course um the the huanghe changes course i mean like you can't do that you can't you, it's, the, the humans are not meant to be able to deal with walker did you yeah you did you always do all right well at least at least i'm aware that i always do i can i can work with that weakness um ah dang it what am i building after this actually because that's the thing is that now now the basic stuff is done um hey constitutional reform party look at that we got a government um so we have some legitimacy that means that we can keep the the keep the party train going um what would happen if we did imperial rule so who else is in favor of appointed bureaucrats it's just intelligentsia and petit bourgeoisie so if we went to petit bourgeoisie instead of buddhist monks we have zero legitimacy nah I don't think so. I think I'm happy rolling like this. And this is a December 1842 on on that. So that would be pretty good. If we got that, that would be actually be devastating for the, the Shogunate. If we got that, then we would be on track for like a 53 or something like that. Um, holy, that would be really good. Um, I don't know about this. Maybe maybe we want to level another level here. Um, ah, shoot, I don't know. I don't know. I like to hem and haw about a lot of things on this. That's the other thing is that like I haven't I haven't played like hundreds of thousands of hours of this because I, I didn't get a pre-release video. I just started I, I did a little bit of leak uh, stuff and then I felt really gross doing it. So I stopped um, and then I and then I I watched some videos and and I fell absolutely in love with the game. And I it's just it's just it's just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. Mm hmm just phenomenal phenomenal i can't i probably can't sing that either for copyright reasons but if you know what i'm saying there you know what i'm saying there da, 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 da. <laughs> all right let's get some more coal i like coal in case in case it's unclear i like coal for the reason that it make it just makes money for us right 
because we're able to just drive up service service production. Um, and we, we could increase taxes, but I, I really do think that just getting this done is going to be such a big deal. Such a big deal. Ah, oh, come on, guys. All right, so we could take 20% enactment time down um, and burn off some bureaucracy that we have plenty of. Sure, yeah, I could do that. The Shogunate is currently at minus three as well, so they're, they are not so indescribably uh, mad that they cannot handle the emotional disappointment of us hiring and firing a couple of their dudes. Holy cow, why are the samurai so strong? Oh, because they have a brigadier general. All right, well, that's fine. Um, Petit bourgeoisie, shogunate. Shogunate, we're going to fire. Oh, oh, right, of course they're so powerful, because they got votes. That's why they're so powerful. So that's that's the other reason that I want to tell you that switching into um, landed voting is both powerful but very terrifying, is that you see here, they have zero political strength from their wealth, or from their votes, because they did not, they were not able to participate in the political process. So the real, the the real strength of the of the shogunate is actually higher than that. And the moment that they join the political process and participate in the elections, they're gonna, probably going to align with the samurai. And then they'll be getting all these extra. You see the political strength from votes in an election plus three point two one million. That that political strength will start boosting the shogunate back up, and so while they are weak now because they are like just just angry with the political process that we've created, I want to use this time to um, to minimize their power, and to just and to just get rid of all of their support in government, just drown them out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bureaucracy that I didn't waste on um, stuff. Because there's there's a lot of stuff that you can waste you, that you can waste. I don't know about promoting um, samurai into space, just because again, they're probably going to end up in the same party, and so I don't want to promote them. But I'm not going to fire them. Um, it's not it is not worth doing that. Uh, I could I could hire another samurai character. I just have I just have so much. Uh, shoot, come on, baby. There we go. Buddhist monks. Buddhist monks is a good one. And all right, so then you have to ask yourself, and and this is one that you're gonna have to tell me, chat, is that is that necessarily gamey? Because if we if we pretend like we are in fact just a a, a collection of people who are trying very hard to overthrow the Japanese shogunate, then you can imagine that at this point what we've done is we've 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 managed to convince the government that we need to start giving lots and lots and lots of 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 powerful military titles away to appease these people not in, and then the you know the person who's in charge of it doesn't know that like oh secretly they're actually all working together against you ha 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 and that way we, we are we are ha 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 give me a ha 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 in chat <laughs> walker come on <laughs> i'm sorry this is such a fun game i'm not i'm not gonna apologize to you chat if you're listening to this you're doing it to yourself here on we play games <laughs> Yep, that's that's the that's the vibe. All right, we can make that. I like to upgrade these things because they just are they're gonna increase the size of the economy, and that's just generally good. It's just generally good. It may be patched and changed in a way where you'd have to think a little bit more about when and how you expand things. But right now, right now it's like just generally good to just expand your economy, and and that's that's good. I think I think that's I think that's a good game design. All right, and we got um here right we're getting sulfite pulping right okay crap right 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 we need to get we need to get steel online actually because we need to get um steel mills in tooling workshop that's that's how we're going to fix our tool problem because we do kind of have a tool problem right now but it's not a huge one and by adding a little bit of uh coal into our into our market because again because of how that works it makes it so that, like the more that you have in the market floating around the more you can adjust to a meaningfully big increase um in demand so yeah we're gonna do some coal mines uh do 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 road maintenance look at this chat i i know that you guys believe in me i know you believe in me you're going absolutely crazy down there people are losing their minds they're screaming there's hollering 
it's like the stock market crash of 1929. Everyone, everyone's got all these betting pools of like how much of the game is Walker going to play with road maintenance on the wrong state? Cause he forgot. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to ruin you. You're going to lose. You're going to lose a fortune over this chat. You're going to lose a fortune over this. What are we doing? I don't know. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I've lost my mind. I really have gone crazy chat. I've, I've, I've become absolutely possessed with the spirit of this game. I can't believe how good it is. I really can't believe how good it is. It's it's still got a lot of work to do, but I I I really didn't think that it was going to be possible for me to enjoy a Paradox Interactive game more than like the mods for Crusader Kings 2. Um but I'm I was wrong. I was wrong. This is this is probably better than than all of them will be uh, once it's finished. Market access in Hokkaido is annoying, but like I just I don't I I know why because they're, they're doing gold stuff but like i just don't care like leave me alone there's gonna be gold stuff that's gonna show up and it doesn't matter if it's in a campaign if it's in a video it do i don't care it does not matter if they're doing this stuff if they're doing gold stuff i'm gonna treat them like garbage because they're garbage and they should know they're garbage if you're doing gold stuff you should be ashamed hokkaido ashamed oh no no why just once please please for crying out loud because if we just get this the reason this is such a big deal now is because that'll let us go in here and go to professional bureaucrats and by going to professional bureaucrats we're gonna switch it around um lose a bunch of aristocrats that are supporting this and gain a bunch of bureaucrats that are supporting intelligentsia done right that's that should be pretty obvious. I'm going to do secular administration, actually, in all of them to try to boost the intelligentsia now because the Buddhist monks are going to keep draining from the shogunate, but the intelligentsia are going to like kind of drain from the Buddhist monks if we do it this way. And I, I think I'm okay with that, actually. I think I'm very much okay with that. Um, I don't think I want to go to that one, though, because that's going to essentially empower the petty bourgeoisie more. So as I want to make it clear that there's so many... There's so many things in this. There's so many things in this. It's a, it's a, an absolute wonder and a madhouse. It's, it's so good. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of high tax, high wage. Actually, I'm, I'm running out of patience for law work where it has failed me, where the laws alone will, will not bend to my will. I've decided instead to ignore them and just use the power of the purse to punish my enemies and empower my friends. That's what I'm doing. Um, and so I'm gonna build another another administration or another academy there and then i'm going to build some universities and money and printing and and then we're going to come back um blah 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 look at that i moved the thing only a, only only a little late only a little late and now we're doing this and that's going to increase the demand for steel which is going to increase the demand here and then that's going to start hiring peasant look look at that shogunit is no longer powerful all right so now we just got to keep him down we got to smother him Gotta smother him. And unfortunately, he is contributing a lot to the stall chance here. But, like, there's not a lot un other than that that I could really be working on. I could be working on dedicated police force, but they would oppose that and add stall chance. Um, I could be working on serfdom, but they would probably start a civil war over that. Um, and the rest of this stuff I can't really do until after I've done other things. Agrarianism is very important, but I, I think that at this point, I'd much rather just come up with other ways to keep the Shogun down. Um, eh, eh, he says, he says, and then he shrugs, and then he thinks. No, I like mass communication, actually. I think authority is a very powerful thing, and we did sacrifice some when we switched over to landed voting. That's why I recommended originally just going it straight into mass communication, but that was at, before I started working with mandatory service. I just, I just really like mandatory service, and... Um, and uh, National Militia. I think it's very strong. I think it's very, very strong. And Oshio is still alive. He's still alive. Good. Good, good, good. And that, that's going to work. It's going to work. Um, God, Jesus Christ. Just one time. I don't know who I have to bribe at Paradox to make it so that I, I can stop failing these roles. But I'll... I'll I will I will send you like whatever money I find in the dirty sweatpants I have on the floor over here. It, it's probably like a buck fifty. But if you want me to put that into an envelope so that you can let me start passing these rolls, I, I'll mail it to you. <laughs> uh, 
I crack myself up. I love this game. I love this game. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Let me know if you're having fun um, with this game. Even if it's, even if you're you're having fun in an entirely different way, I will not be offended. I understand that most people are not going to play this way, and I don't. I don't even expect that I will play this way every every day. I think I'm just playing this way right now because I just, I, I really do think that a lot of these things are going to collapse where um, they're going to keep patching stuff and patching stuff and patching stuff, and it's going to be different and and then it's going to be hard. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls! Why? <laughs> Why? So I'm just building this because it's high productivity. Uh, I don't. I. It happens to also help people and blah blah blah. But I'm building it because I. It. Because really, textiles. If you can give them the re the resources they need to succeed with, they literally just print money. They literally just print money. And that's kind of where we are right now. I'm just in print money mode. Print money mode. Yes, if we just got the, the stupid thing, then we would be there. If we just got the stupid thing, then we would be there. Maybe we come back to this, because we could add um, industrialists or petit bourgeoisie after the next election. That would that would probably be helpful. And the next election is not going to be very far off. We could even just go straight into elected bureaucrats. That would be really interesting if we went straight into elected bureaucrats and bypassed um, appointed bureaucrats. Hmm. So normally I now nah, now nah, that makes them too mad. That's the the reason that I like going into appointed bureaucrats is they just they don't they don't start wars over it. They cuz you can just say like listen, you guys aren't going to inherit this anymore, but we're going to make it so that like you'll probably still get the job. Um and that's <laughs> that's an accurate description of events. There we go. Um yeah, I'm not going to work on it cuz I'm going to wait until we can find another another friend in government. Um, hopefully it's going to be the petit bourgeoisie or the industrialists on the next roll for parties, but I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and just stack our court. Why are you, why are you like this? Why are you like this paradox? Why must you mock me? Why must you mock me? Why must you mock me? You know, you know that, that you can give me slightly better rolls. No one is gonna. No one's gonna lose their mind. Everyone's gonna be fine. Everything is gonna be fine. So the samurai again. Most of this is just from their their votes, which they're gonna get whether or not they're aligned with the shogunate. So I'm not particularly terrified of empowering them here. Um, but I'm not gonna do any more than that. It's just wasting bureaucracy for nothing now. All right. All right. So now I just want to make sure that I'm staying ahead of the curve, that I'm trying to just keep my construction flowing. We could we could build up some more uh, iron so that way we can do some iron frame construction because we haven't been doing that. And I think that's one of the other things that you can do to to make this even stronger is to to. Uh, yeah, this is not a, there are not enough of them. Um, sure. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I don't, I don't care. Samurai, if the samurai have more political power, then it just continues to drown out the political power of the shogunate, which is kind of what we're after here. So, all right, what we'll do is after that, we're gonna go, we're gonna bounce back over to to Kanto, and we're gonna do a five more levels of iron mine, and we'll use that to help start doing uh, iron frame buildings wherever we're doing construction. And that's really powerful because that gives you a, like kind of like a whole extra way to do a second road maintenance. So that way you can stack extra extra things in regards to local construction efficiency, and you can build stuff really, really quickly that way. Um, boop, boom. Yeah, high tax, high wage is really good. I haven't really done a lot of tea time here, but it's because like I, I haven't hit the the infrastructure cap. That's that's really where may, eh, maybe I'll pull it. Oh yeah, I'll pull it in Kanto. I don't I don't need it. I don't need you here. And that, that is going to radicalize some of them. But again, it's just about reducing their income. Because now those, those aristocrats, they're still, they're still around. But instead of working on lucrative tea plantations, now they're going to have to go work on subsistence farms. Like, oof, oh, country bumpkins. <laughs> but like, yeah, right? That's exactly what we're doing. That is exactly what we're doing. That is the game. Um, this, this part might be a little cheaty face. I don't know. I think it's flavorful, but if you think it's, it's not acceptable, then I'll accept that in the same way that I expect you to accept that I don't think it's acceptable to become a protector to someone if they ask you to. Um, but, but, you know, live your life the way you must. Um, 
Yeah, so they lost the Opium War. So, for instance, this this might be an incredibly strong um, place to start a campaign from, assuming that we're we manage to hold on here. And 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 just like one of the the big strengths here is that the Shogunate we have them out of power. We are suppressing them. We are promoting their political enemies. We're draining, we're draining their political power. And somehow it's still like totally okay. Um, there's a nine percent. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna start bolstering the intelligentsia now, and just expect Oshio to just hold on to his pops for himself. And the intelligentsia are gonna do a better job of draining the aristocrats, which are the main the main core over there. So I just like it's not about is it one strategy or another. It's about it's about exploration. It's about learning. It's about finding new pieces of of data. Because this game is so complicated that like you really can't just pretend to just math it. There's this, the state is going to change entirely. Like it, we're heading in on 1846. Um, and, and we, we have currently kept the Shogunate down. Um, we, we are currently on track for an 1854. However, that is not a guaranteed thing by any means, right? We're, we're not guaranteed that. And what that means is I have to keep pushing. I have to keep pushing. There's no, you cannot take your foot off the gas walker. You can't do it again. Like, you, you just can't do it again. You need to pay attention. <laughs> you need to pay attention. Um, and if, if, you, if, if you enjoy um, this content, but there's a way that I could make it a little easier for you to use, let me know. I, I will do my best if it's something that I feel like I can accomplish without getting frustrated. Because there are some things that just in, in life that I, I'm not very good at. Um, there's a, actually a, quite, a, quite a long list of them. Um, but but I, I like talking about this, and, and I like listening to me talk about this. And so if you, if you also like listening to me talk about this, but me talking about one thing or another thing is just driving you crazy, let me know in the, com the comments. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I try to be a reasonable person. That I do not often succeed, but I do try. I do try. Look at that. <laughs> look, look at that. So, so if we had developed, there's another, there's another player um, on this channel who, who's been in, engaged in our conversations, who I found, I saw on Reddit. Ah, oh, crap. I, I don't even remember. Shoot. Ah, oh, man. Walker, you can't pause in the middle of this thing all right i will i will i will they, i will invite them to this conversation but there's another player i think it's um Sokrut or something and and he's got i'm very bad with names please please forgive me um we're working we're just gonna go straight to railways and then we're gonna go to electricity it's that's almost always right there, it's there's a big 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 idea to get uh quinine as well um and that is also very good Hmm. All right. Can we do appointed appointed bureaucrats yet? We can. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's let's do it. Let's start the rolls up again. Let's start the rolls up again. Just because it failed last time doesn't mean it's gonna fail this time, right? Give me give me some fingers crossed in the chat. Give me some fingers. Give me some 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 pointer fingers and maybe a thumb. I'd like a couple of thumbs. Get me some thumbs. Hey, th that's the like thing. I was just being weird. I wanted people to just like show me pictures of thumbs, but like, like, and subscribe. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm supposed to be telling you in videos. I do not do this very consistently. I do not do this because I forget that that is my job, but like, and subscribe for more content. <laughs> Idiot. You, Walker, you just, you're so stupid. You can't, you're just so stupid. All right, um, we got peasants and intelligentsia as our main party. I'm okay with that. And 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 the the imperial rule party somehow has not yet attracted the um, the shogunate to them, which works really well for me because it means that they're not getting that extra bonus. The the reason that I'm panicking so much about appointed bureaucrats is just that like in the event that the shogunate and the samurai come together again, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem because we we have empowered the, the samurai quite a lot. We might we might go through and just fire a couple of them who are um less than yeah like this guy's a traditionalist i don't think so buddy we, we'll just we'll just we'll just we'll just curate the the strength of their party for them we'll, we'll just help them know which which way is right that's all which which way is right um 
you are a moderate. Okay, that's okay. Army, you are two shogunate characters, and we're at zero. So I'm not I'm not messing with any of them. Um, what? Oh, right. This is still the patch where if if you if you die in the game, you die in real life. So just guys, give me give me some give me some real hands, because because if we die in the chat, we die in real life. Um, oh god damn it! Did I just expand my my iron immensely and not do anything with it? Yeah, that's pretty standard. That that is also not affected. That's pretty standard. <laughs> this, is, this is so. I cannot believe. I cannot believe what I am watching, chat. I really can't believe what I'm watching. I'm I'm going insane. I'm going insane. I can't believe what I'm watching. Um. Yeah, we'll just we'll just build we'll just build here. I like I like having some more coal. I like having some more glass. We'll just build in Kyushu for a little bit. We are going to come up on uh, market access problems, but that's why I'm working towards railways. I think railways is very powerful as Japan. It kind of depends on how big your urban centers can get, and that determines how, how early you need to push towards railways. But as Japan, you have a gigantic amount of coal. At least for early industrialization, you have a gigantic amount of coal. Um, and you don't have... All right, so the Imperial Rule Party got some votes. That's... That's, again, to be expected. The more, the longer that these guys sit out of the political process, the better. Because we, we are still making progress here. We are still making progress here. Is there anybody else? Oh, they want to join the Constitutional Reform Party? Look at that. Cool. Absolutely. Giant Constitutional Reform Party over there. Um, and that's why I like, I like picking up empiricism afterwards. And that's why, like, again, and I want to, I want to make sure that that part was clear to you is that keep in mind, I missed all of my landed voting rolls and I had to not take the imperious, the empiricism path. You can have a land voting running in 1840 and you can get appointed bureaucrats on the first or second roll. You can have that stuff done by 42 or 43 pretty easily if you, if you just get a little luckier than I did. So, so again, um, did, did Walker do multiple runs and then only show the one that tempts the person who's like, oh my God, he's right. No, no, I didn't. But, but I do like that. I suggest that it might be what I am doing. Cause that, that tickles my fancy. <laughs> it's, it's just, I don't know. I, I think that's fun to think about. Um, I'm not as afraid of building the industrial cash crops. I hate like agricultural cash crops. They're terrible. Um, oh. Oh, ho, 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 well, I would love your assistance in getting that done. I would love your assistance in getting that done. Um, but this is going to cost, we did lose our, our investment pool, but that's fine. Because um, I don't think we can get it with in, while being in traditionalism anyway. Um, and now we're up to 41% on appointed bureaucrats with 1847. August 1847 is the role. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Just show me the money. Papa needs a brand new sweaty, super sweaty video on YouTube. That's what Walker needs. Walker needs an incredibly sweaty, incredibly sweaty video on YouTube. Um, oh no. Oh, you butthole. You jerk. Why, how, why would you want to restore autocracy? Get out of here. They, they only have all of that strength chat because they have so many votes here. Hopefully, the more that we work on trying to strengthen that coalition, which is currently like intelligentsia peasants and industrialists with um, Buddhist monks kind of just like hanging out. Are they useful anymore? Yeah, they're still useful. So they're, they're just kind of like handing out, hanging out here. Um, it's just good. I like it. It's, it's great. We got plenty of stuff going on here. We got plenty. Oh, right. Except for construction walker. We got plenty of stuff going on here, except that you're at plus 33 a turn and you're not building anything, you dummy. Um, right. Okay. Well, we can fix that. We can fix that. That is a short-term problem. That is an absolutely a short-term problem. Uh, ba we got balance for die. So again, more supply means that because this is, it only hits input can shortage when you get to 75%. So that means you can like make bigger, faster, more drastic changes to your, um, to your society by doing it that way. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna want more, even more lead, even more lead, even more lead, because lead is gonna be an input for um, a government building. 
indirectly, right? Because lead is going to go into the glass, and then the glass is going to go into the urban centers, and that makes it your problem, right? Take care of the things that are your problem. Grow your economy that way. Your pops will catch up. Ignore, don't pay any attention to that. Like, just don't, don't, don't tax it, like, full percentage all of the time unless you know exactly what you're doing because that's usually just throwing away legitimacy for nothing i'm only running it at, at uh the medium because we're at 42 percent on in august come on baby come on come on i know you want to do it so if, if you're watching um this content and and you haven't explored other parts of of the channel then please feel free to if you have and you think that it's not for you that's okay too uh i i, I would not mind at all having a kind of like a bifurcated uh viewership i i understand that again that's not like optimal from a youtube algorithm standpoint but i don't really care about being hyped like the that's not the game that i'm playing right i'm not playing how to hyper optimize this this youtube channel i'm trying to just figure out a way to like make it where I am proud of what I've been able to accomplish um and and I don't think I don't think I'm there yet but I think we're moving in the right direction that's and that's that's why I'm happy with just keeping this going I don't think I'm there yet but we're we're heading in the right direction but but I do I do want to emphasize that uh, in the event that you are utilizing this information in some way, shape, or form, if if whatever I am saying is confusing you, let me know. I, I love talking to new people. I know that it sounds like like I don't, but they are in fact some of my very favorite people to talk to because they don't have preconceived notions about like what is true and what is false, whereas people who have played like twenty hours do. And then those people with those preconceived notions will like disagree, and then they'll play, and then they'll know that I'm usually right, not always, but usually. And that, that, that puts them in a, a stressful position where they have to decide if they want to apologize or not. And most humans are incapable of that. And then they're just, and then they're just trapped in this like awkward state where they don't want to apologize. And I do the same thing. I do the same thing. He says this as though he does not do the same thing. I do. I do do the same thing, but I try to, I try to apologize when I'm wrong. Um, So anyone I disagreed, I don't think I, ah, oh God, Jesus Christ, oh. <laughs> every time, ah, every time, I cannot believe this, this is insane, right, this is, this is absolutely insane, if you know anything about probabilities, you know that this, this is absolutely crazy, um, yeah, we're going to be getting towards uh, railways soon, and we're getting atmospheric engines right now. So we actually do want to get coal mines up and going, um, so that way we can get more atmospheric engines running, and we'll probably want to get more tools. I'm just adding a little bit of silk plantations in here to increase the profitability on the textile mills. I don't think it's necessary. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to build the ones that I'm not currently working on, because I just don't... I don't really value them that that much they're useful when you like ridiculously overbuild them because when you ridiculously overbuild them then they start um making it so that they the people who work there are working more at like subsistence level farming uh income and wage all right everybody all right everybody i i did it i did it again i this is in uh iron isn't it this isn't, I swear to God, this is an iron, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's, you know, that's pretty standard. Um, no, you will not get good stuff. <laughs> Give me more political power. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, no? I'm going to go with a hard pass on that one. Give me more political power. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Just... If you just get this thing done, then I don't have to be so sweaty anymore. I don't have to like, I don't have to worry about it. And then I'll stop worrying about it and then I'll play badly and then I'll, and then I'll, you know, mess it up. <laughs> this is pretty standard. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it just happens every time. Um, I, th I think probably 
because we have a steel mill there, I think I'm going to start doing the um, the motor industry in Kanto. Because keep in mind that once the 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 restoration is complete, then your ca your capital is going to become uh, Edo. And so you want to actually make sure that you don't build literally everything in Kansai. And that's why the it is it is true that you definitely want to build your university there. And I think that for people who are new, I would recommend staying at a size two. Um, for people who are like mad with power and and seek out dark things in outer space i think you could probably afford a five or a six but the thing is that i think that there's a there's a real danger to pushing it too far because if you push it way too far then you just end up where you go colossally into debt and if you're paying a bunch of money to people who uh work on no not subsistence farms but like on on agricultural things like at the beginning of the game you're not going to be very happy. Like paying debt gives them money and that wealth will increase their clout. And at the beginning of the game, a lot of clout is coming from wealth, especially before votes start getting calculated in, like before you get landed voting. Once you get landed voting, if you want to start acquiring debt, you can. Um, that that probably is going to be faster than, than doing what we're doing here, which is like a, just a very slow, gradual bleed down while building at 49 a turn. You can you can build a lot faster than this, but I just want to get this thing filmed in on the internet because um, I'm, I'm anxious to just get it done. Appointed bureaucrats, please, please. I, I, I will, I will, I will sing elated. I will sing elated if you just give me what I want. Just give me what I want, please. Appointed bureaucrats. Hands in the air, appointed bureaucrats. Oh, right. We can do, we can do stuff. We can build things. Um, er, e. I guess we could do this. So what we'll do here is we'll just dump a bunch of our tools into the coal. And then that's going to dramatically increase the amount of coal that's coming out, which, would inc which is going to decrease the cost. But that's okay, because we're going to do this instead. Um, iron mines, atmospheric dumps. I'm just going through and just adding everything up here, just so that way we just maximize our ability to utilize the resources that are floating around in our economy. And then I'll figure out where the holes are. Um, like, do we have way, way, way too much uh, iron stuff going on? And it looks like the answer to that is yes. Minus 26 infrastructure. That is crazy. That is bananas. That is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Here. Oh, we play games. You can't ad advertise that. Appointed bureaucrats. Huh. Everybody. Appointed bureaucrats. I want everyone to, like, wander around whispering their friends and just saying, huh. appointed bureaucrats. And then mumble, mumble, mumble. And then appointed bureaucrats under your breath again. Mumble, mumble, mumble. That, that will drive the algorithm crazy. The algorithm will devour itself like a great caduceus if we can do that. And this is, this is like secret stuff in here because apparently people just like scrub through videos. And so if you're listening to this entire thing, I think you deserve me an explanation. Like, how dare you? These are my secret conversations that I have with myself. <laughs> But, 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 but in all, in all honesty, like, I do, I do wonder if, if someone who, someone, someone who's listening in on this conversation, like, what is it that you're getting out of it? Um, cause there are things, there are a lot of things that I enjoy about this channel. And so I just like, I'm not afraid to lean into the things that, that the small, but dedicated audience that I have enjoys. And, and I think that people who understand what I'm about understand that I do it from a position of just wanting to engage with them and communicate with them. Cause I, I just, I think it's more fun to talk to people who are like th trying to think than people who are trying not to. That, that's, that's what it boils down to. I, I probably should have tried to push for railways a little more cause it's 1848 and we just have like a ludicrous, Oh, Walker, is this, if this is a, yeah. All right. Well, that's my fault. I'm sorry, chat. I'm again, not very good at this game. This is like, I bet somebody off screen was screaming, build a port, you idiot. Yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, Walker. You you unbelievable maniac. You unbelievable maniac. So I'm building this here uh, just so I can get a little bit of extra construction going on shipyards. Because although it is typically good to be building um, wherever the hell that other one is. I don't remember where it is. Where is it? 
where is the shipyard? It's in Kyushu. I could be building up in Kyushu, but like obviously Kyushu can't handle that right now because they're just like buried in in infrastructure problems, which we could be solving. But like uh, decrees, road maintenance, actually we should be solving. What I could be solving, you you great fool, Walker could be solving. Could be solving. He says as though he is entirely powerless, being not quite aware that that of course in fact he could just click the thing and then click the other thing and then it's done i i just i just don't even i just don't even know i i've i have no excuses for you chat i i am going to play very badly in this game but i think i think unless unless they combine forces the um unless the shogunate and the samurai combine forces again for an election i think we're on track i think we're doing fine um i do want to check to see if there's anyone here nope and navy just i i don't trust them i don't trust them i do not trust them because they're just they just have too much power they just have too much power and that power has driven them mad chat the power has driven them mad And that's where Skylar would chime in and say, Walker, the power has driven you mad. And by power, of course, you mean the ability to pretend like you're working when you're just really talking about a video game for hours and hours and hours. All right. So what are some other things that I think are like interesting about Japan? Um, oh, we could use atmospheric engine. Um, yeah. Wait, why are we not getting that? It's just because nobody's pro it's not profitable. Because we have just too much lead coming out, I guess. If I had, if I had to guess, yeah, too much lead coming out. But you know what? That's a fixable problem. That is a thousand percent a fixable problem. Because uh, we can build some more glassworks, and that does it. That fixes the problem. Done. Um, and there's infrastructure here. Like the right thing to do, of course, would be to move the thing. But like, I just whatever. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bothering with it. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna have to trust me. It's gonna be fine. Um, Chigoku. So now that there aren't aristocrats in in our uh, in our soup, now that there aren't any aristocrats in our soup, we can do cool stuff. Because um, now we've got professional bureaucrats, and professional bureaucrats are just like the dope diggity. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. They are the dope diggity, and we can even further um, disempower the shogunate because they will attract a couple of clergy if we just change that now. Because we're no longer really requiring the uh, Buddhist monks to remain in power for us to remain in power. Because I, I think we're getting pretty close to the point where if if Oshio dies, it would be useful. And this is another thing that you can do is that if, if you have ways to battle the Shogun, I'm just going to restart. You, you know what? I'm going to restart the please, please don't let me be misunderstood because we're not done. I want to I want to keep myself. I want to keep myself focused and, and in on the battle. And so I got to get that playing again. All right, there we go. Good. Yeah. All right. We're closing in chat. We're five, we're halfway through. We're still dancing around. There remains the thing that I'm going to tell you, the thing that is going to make you want to pay attention at this point is that there remains over us this sword of Damocles. The shogunate can join in with the samurai. I just, I don't know why I do this without music. I'm so much more fun to listen to whenever I'm listening to music and there's great music in the world. And some of it's in Victoria three. Most of it's, most of it's elsewhere. There are some great, there are some great track tracks in here, but I, it, it's not my favorite um, paradox thing that's definitely Stellaris and then probably CK2. CK2 had a, an absolute banger of a soundtrack. Um right, so we're just we're just building stuff. We're just building stuff cuz we we like we want to make sure that in the event that there is a secret alliance between the shogunate and the samurai that we have enough uh industrial might to defeat them. And so we're just trying to make sure that we just keep that rolling, keep on pouring money in, um keep on trying to grow. We'll just, we'll promote the samurai once or twice. It's, I don't want to do it forever, but we'll do it once or twice. All right, good, good, good. We're building, we're building. We could, we could construct more construction sectors here. We could also just expand our iron mines. I'd be okay with that. The Imperial Way Party, damn it. Ah, oh, the Imperial Way Party? If, you, if you're here, I want you to, I want you to get angry. Imperial Way Party, Chuh. 
and now we've got the the characters just like they're they're sizing each other up and now we're trying to decide are we going to jump in on this with the railways we're going to be able to just alt click here I'm, as soon as that's up i'm going to build i'm going to build railways level ones in all three of these just as soon as that happens come on buddy come on buddy railways give me the power give me the power of rail because then you just get to build enormous, enormous urban centers, which will let you, of course, increase demand for coal and glass, which we've already kind of leaned, le leaned into. Um, and then, and then, of course, with that colossal amount of urbanization, you're going to get a colossal amount of services, which is going to increase the amount of money that you can spend. Because you want to increase the amount of money you can spend basically always. You just want to grow the size of your growth as much as you humanly can because by growing your growth then you know you're accelerating which can just well it's it'll sell it'll send shivers down your spine when you do it for the first time i promise it's just terrifying the amount of power you can have in the palm of your hand the power of the sun um i think we'll just take central archives i guess i don't really care i i I think I think we're in such good shape that I'm not too worried about it. The really that is the thing that that'll that would doom us is if the shogunate decides that this is the moment and then it's going to rejoin um and if if they don't rejoin the political process, if they don't join that that party, I don't I don't know I don't know how this can go badly. It may end up it may even end up if this is the vote, I may make, I may try to see what happens if we just do the entire, uh, all people who received votes together. Cause that'll give the samurai way, way, way more political clout. Cause they'll just have a bunch of uh, stuff from voting. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Constitutional. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So, so chat, this is going to be an absolute masterstroke out here because now by bringing the samurai into government instead, I'm pretty sure that if even if the shogunate wants to join the samurai, I don't think they can um, because I'm pretty sure of the way that the political formation of parties is going to work. So now we're now we are racing towards the end. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, the shogun is just thrashing in the darkness trying desperately to cling to power and we're we're adding industry we're bringing the full force of our of our power down here come on come on give me a 54 baby give me a 54 that i can post give me a 54 with bad rng that someone can overcome i love this song so much <laughs> it's great <laughs> Ah, I can feel the fire, chat. I hope you can feel the fire. Oh God, it's so good. All right, we're building. We're building industry here because the infrastructure is going to let us just get huge cities, just huge cities. And I love it when we get those huge cities. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Show show this show this one to your friends. Show this one to your friends. I'm 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 doing it, guys. And this is on harsh aggressive too. It's it's on harsh aggressive, but it is with regular AI and not with um on builds. So if that matters to you, then that's okay. Like that's fine too, but I'm just doing this for like normal people so they can see that, hey, uh, I have made an incredibly detailed um, tutorial for how to do a strong Japan game. And people are going to be worried about this. But if you've played enough, then you realize that like that's again, it's I, you have to do so much restarting that I, it's not worth it. Um, cause what we're going to do is we're going to come out of this and we're going to have like a GDP of like 30, 40 million probably. Cause we got three more years to do stuff and we have legitimacy. So we could even be working on taxation laws here. I like, Oh my God, we can do so much. We can do so, so much. We could even, 
if we wanted we could even go to wealth voting but that would radicalize the shogunate so if we're gonna do that i would probably just want to do serfdom instead um would that radicalize them that would not radicalize them let's go to let's go to dedicated police force let's 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 just, just tighten the noose tighten the noose this is we're, we're we're not doing this first because it's not that important to do first but we're tightening the noose because the more we can do the more we can put the pressure on them the more we can take their power away the more they can't fight back the more that we can accomplish once we're gone right once we've once we've accomplished a Komei restoration early you'll be really astonished as to how quickly you can do whatever you want to because you don't have a powerful landowner that you have to fight with and if and this is this is where i feel okay just checking over here and talking through why all this stuff is so bad. So these are just high auto uh, authority abilities. Those generally, they, they're good in the beginning when you're small and really bad in the later, later on in the game whenever you've, you've gotten big. Because um, the biggest bonus that you get is the decree, which, which of course, if, if for those of you who are watching, of course not using, because it is impossible for me to play well. It doesn't matter what the situation is. I just can't do it. It is... It is magic beyond my power to do that I, I don't know some people are really good at this game i'm not one of them um oh my god it's oh, it sh sends shivers up my spine i i'm so close chat the the i i, I feel like this will i've i'll have defeated a great demon if i can put a 54 on the internet come on baby show me and this isn't even again this is not even rng and don't don't pretend like it is like i'm not i'm not in debug all i did was re-roll until i got a pacifism i recorded it with a different strategy um where we ended up with 58 and then i did a different strategy and i think if you do lv1 and you get lucky and you and you know how to play japan you'll you will understand that when i tell you that a 52 is possible it's not bluster it is it's a thousand percent possible and you know it is and now you feel compelled to try all right, it's an hour and a half. We're not going to hit an hour and a half for, for the video, which I apologize for. I, I paused a lot to talk about things, which obviously I did not need to do. I could have just ignored you and recorded in silence and then recorded over it with my voice, but I just don't think that makes for fun content. I like, I like being able to talk through my thought process, even if it includes things that are in absolutely no way, shape, or form helpful to any of you, because um, I'm, I'm a lunatic. I am a lunatic. Um, I don't know about building more, so I guess if we built more silk, it wouldn't be that bad. Because the if we built a bunch of silk, then it would crash the price of silk, which kind of does even more to help drain power from the shogunate and towards the people who own the textile mills. And the people in the textile mills are the people we're aligned with anyway. So like, ta-da, we did it. Ah, so good. We could even build that not in the capital. We could build like a cotton plantation out here. I wouldn't mind building a cotton plantation out in Kanto. Yeah, we'll do a 10 um, plantation. That's okay. Uh, yeah, all right. You guys are going to give me a bunch of a bunch of nonsense over there. Just a bunch of nonsense over there. Get, get your stuff off my lawn. I don't want to see any of this. Dedicated police force. All right. Um, we Now we could do central archives, and that would continue to increase the amount of bureaucracy we have. Uh, the other the other thing, of course, that you can do in terms of research here is you can be working through to mechanize workshops. That's very powerful, and I would not at all uh, tell people. I, did I even talk about canneries and food? I feel like I started talking about it, and then something happened, and I got distracted. So, if that's true, I apologize. If it's not true, then you know, just that is the quality of content that you will find here at We Play Games. Um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a lunatic. It's just a lunatic uh what 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 in the what in the heck are we doing we are doing a Komei restoration here everybody i'm gonna put a timestamp right around here for the people who want to come back um but here we are we're at two two years from the end and we've accomplished it we've done what uh i want to call essentially lv1 this is something where we are going to be trying to get um landed voting first as the first thing and if you don't understand why that's okay i explain all of it and the same sort of like really mind numbing, excruciating detail that I'm sure all of you have come to begrudgingly accept here at We Play Games. Um, and so it's there. And I, it's, and if you want to listen to me jabber on about it, just go to the beginning of the video. Go ahead and watch. I talk about all the politics, 
all the politics. But basically what you have to do is you have to play politics. And what, what that means is you have to be willing to shuffle around the people who are in your court. But because you're an autocratic society, sure, that makes sense, right? That's good. That's, I think that's a flavor win. Um, we could tax, we could tax luxury clothes or tea or whatever. Sure. I like, I like taxing things that rich people pay for. That's my, that's my very favorite consumption tax. Tax something that a rich person is paying for and you, you'll, you'll feel pretty good doing it. You'll feel pretty good doing it. Yes. Come on, baby. Come on. Show. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we could build more tea here, but the other thing that you can do to help balance this out is just provide them with other luxuries. Um, and this is a luxury drink need. So I th think, yeah, it's only tea, coffee, and wine. So we could potentially add some more tea back somewhere. Um, but I'm not going to add it where we don't have any. I'm going to add it where we have some. And, and that's because of the way the economies of scale work. It's just going to give me a lot more tea for a lot lower investment in terms of construction. Um, and boy, our, our, our economy just keeps on growing. It just keeps on growing. It just, just grows into the distance. Ah, come on. We could do it. We could do it. We could just, we could just slap iron on Kyoto. Um, yeah. All right. We, we will continue to make you weak, Shogunate, if you, if you insist, if you insist, absolutely. We will continue to make you weak. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Show me. Show me the way. Show me the way. Kome is the way. We're racing towards the end. This is so exciting for me. And and I I do not want to jinx it, but I suspect that at this point, because of how weak the Shogunate is, if they don't come up with some kind of magical way to rejoin the samurai, it won't matter if, if Oshio dies, which is why I'm not afraid to align with the devout. Um, I don't know if I if I went over this ex in excruciating detail or not, um, but the reason that I have absolutely no worry about aligning myself with the Buddhist monks is that modernity is very cruel to them. They both have that penalty where uh, as the literacy goes up, support goes down i think is the way that works yeah there it is so as the literacy goes up the interest in being attracted to them is going to go down but also just the pop types that they use are going to get buried by construction points and so you can use them short term to attract the people who would naturally be associated with the shogunate using the incredible charisma and power of Oshio. We can convince the people who would naturally be supporting the shogunate in, under a conservative society to wander over to the Buddhist, Buddhist monks. And then you start constructing everything. And if Oshio either dies in like the 50s or you just develop your economy, then, then you won't even have to deal with the powerful Buddhist monks if you don't, if you don't want to. And there are ways to further stack um, things on to the Buddhist monks if you get a, f a serfdom out of the way early. But we did not do that. We did not get an early serfdom. Um, we could go for serfdom here against this this fairly weak shogunate, but I'm not even going to bother until we've removed the Bakufu thing from the samurai, because that's not going to be that hard, right? It's going to be 54 when we're done, and then, and then, and then we can, you know, build a little bit of stuff, take samurai off of Bakufu, and then no one will support retaining serfdom like i this is it this is it right this is the this is the aha eureka moment like wait a second walker is an absolute goddamn lunatic but he is right he is right the boy is certifiable but he is right let me know let me know let me know i just it's not, I, again, and I want to stress this, and I cannot stress this enough, it's not about wanting attention or anything like that. I don't, I really don't want that. If you listen to my content, you know that that's not an affected thing, that, like, I don't think that I would respond to it very well emotionally. I think it would be overwhelming, and I would disappear from public life forever. Um, but I want to be part of conversations about strategy and thought, because I just, I, I, I think so much about this. I, I think so much about this. I'm possessed. Uh, 
driven flying above the night. No one's listening to this right now, so I just I can just say whatever I want to. But I did a lot of like Dungeons and Dragons stuff when I was younger, and that was a lot of fun. And if you did not do a lot of Dungeons and Dragons stuff when you were younger, that's okay. That's not your fault. Um, but I would I would recommend it. I think I think everyone would enjoy it if they just played. Uh, we could we could we could continue. In fact, we could continue to drive up our government administration. Not because again, not because I care at all about the issue of. Um, tax capacity because it really doesn't matter that much uh when you when you don't have industry going on Ooh, per capita right what do we need for this so we need to get rid of traditionalism um so we could do agrarianism and that would not cause the the shogun to to revolt let's go that would not cause them to revolt let's go just just every tool at our disposal we're just we are the locomotive right we are the locomotive as japan we're just building and building and building and getting stronger and stronger and stronger and we're building up some some demand now so this is once you've got a, a roaring economy one that actually is like doing stuff then you start looking in here more carefully for things like this i know that if i build the textile mills i'll get money but that's kind of like why i like having them at a negative balance because i know that if i'm like running low on money i can just like shove some clothes in there and the the humans who live in my country will pay for it i i suppose um <laughs> they, they, they seem to want clothing for some reason I, I i don't understand it it's absolutely insane but i you know they like it and who they're not hurting anybody so here's some clothing i suppose you you really can get away with just wearing sweatpants everywhere but um i i don't know there's some people who think that's not appropriate uh oh right we got a lot of we got a lot of transportation so right now all of our transportation is coming all of our transportation demand is coming oh yeah all right so the tokugawa shogunate character here <gasps> we're our our alliance against serfdom is just getting bigger and bigger right just bigger and bigger and bigger so good oh yes so good the constitutional reform party will never let you join well actually that's not true after the honorable restoration we may literally bring the shogun back into power i don't know let's find out it'll be really funny <laughs> there it is march March 1854. I want to see somebody lose their mind over this. Even if it's only one person, I don't mind. Um, so that's it. That's the that's the video. I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna go ahead and just have a and 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 maybe maybe we will use this one. Maybe this is the one that we will take fu into the future. Um, because I talk about like why it doesn't matter that much if you lose control over this. So maybe I want to show you. I don't know. The the Ching are they're having some trouble which is going to be pretty good for us in terms of of our ability to to look strong as japan if you if you want to look strong as japan you want to make sure that that ching fails um so that's it i'm gonna save this as 1854 march kome um video save All right, that's it, everybody. I'm Walker. Have a have a wonderful, wonderful time, and I hope that you enjoyed a video of me um, screaming about stuff while listening to Kill Bill because I I loved recording it. Okay, bye.